what's up you guys and welcome back <laughs> to a long overdue video from it should be life or it should be tv i don't even remember my youtube name oh my god this is so terrible y'all i've been missing for so long oh my god y'all i don't even have earrings in today but i was recording a video for you guys and my phone started messing up so i had to send it back to apple and then i had to chase it from fedex to fedex because fedex sucks i had to chase it from store to store trying to figure out where my phone is before i came on this little mini vacay to come see my brother but y'all let me back up so this video is probably going to be like a vlog um and then i'll have to make like no i don't even want to do vlog i don't like vlog so this video is going to be about how i manifested and um you know just really went out there look found prayed to get my car that i actually put money in for now that sounds funny right it sounds really funny because y'all yeah, this is my fourth car i am 19 years old yeah, it's my fourth car. I sound really delusional, really crazy. A lot of people don't believe me when I tell them. But yes, my first car was a Nissan Sentra. My second car was a Chevy Cruze. And my third car was a Mercedes Benz drop top. Drop the Patricia! Get it together, sweetie. We have a show this weekend. The top didn't drop on my drop top. Y'all, so I look really rough right now. We finna get into this video, but I have to get ready first. I'm looking at my baby right now. Oh, wait, let me see my baby. Right there, y'all, in the parking lot. I can't even zoom in. See how raggedy the front camera is? I can't even zoom in. But whatever, my baby's sitting right there. And we finna get into this video. Okay, you guys, I'm back. So, in May of 2020, um, I had, you know, I was being home from Tallahassee for a couple months and you know I have this friend her name is Celeste and we really just started this whole spiritual journey with each other uh, I discovered the secret um B. Simone was talking about it in one of these long rent videos and something just told because they pressing the gas too hard well something just told me you know you know watch the whole video so I watched the whole video and she was like oh make sure you buy the book the secret um, even if you're going to read my book, I have her, her book too. Um, and she was like, you know, buy the book, The Secret or whatever. And then my friend found out that it was a movie on Netflix. So I never really got to finish the whole book because I'm not much of a reader. But we did watch the movie on Netflix twice. And I do plan to finish reading the book as well. So we started this whole spiritual journey, I want to say April 1st. In Y'all look who passed them by. I hate them. So in May, we were talking and everything like that. And we both decided that we would break generational curses. We would step out on faith. We would walk this path of faith. And honestly, it has... What you was trying to say? Honestly, it has just been working so great. So I set my mind to um, get a blue Hyundai Elantra and I wanted one for like 2010, 2011, but it wasn't really in my tax bracket. I couldn't afford it. So I'm like, okay, whatever. You know, I started looking for other cars. I'm like, well, maybe I should just settle for a Nissan because you know, you can find them frequently. Yeah, that's my baby right there, by the way. When I showed y'all earlier, it was like a bunch of cars out there, but that's my baby right there. So I was like, maybe I should just settle for any car. But yeah, let me show y'all what I did. So basically what I did was I went to offer up and I went to the search bar, as you can see, a Honda Accord, Honda, and I just typed in Honda Elantra. What I really like about OfferUp is that you can do a lot of specifications as far as what you want, make, type, year, mileage, and different things like that. Um, they allow you to put in the price, if you wanna see what's new, if you wanna see the cheapest and everything. So for the mileage, I decided that I wanted to do 75,000 or less 
because anything above that is pretty much a lemon. Go ahead and refresh and you'll see that a lot of the cars leave. So for the make, I chose Hyundai and for the type, I chose car. refresh or whatever and then you scroll down um here i was coming up on pretty much newer models but with my search i decided to do something a little bit um less modern so i did from 1960 to 2010 um to find some things that were more in my tax bracket So yeah, scroll through it or whatever. Um, and you can really just pick what you like. Here I see this one for 2600 but it's a hatchback. And I really didn't want one of those, so. And you can continue to scroll through and look down. But I want to show you guys um, the one that I actually found. And here I'm just looking at some more options, you know. Not everybody wants a Hyundai Elantra. I don't know where I was going through all of this to show y'all. So now I'm just going to go ahead and sign in with my Google account so I can show you guys the transaction that I actually made. Um, I didn't make my transaction over... Offer up. I actually made my transaction in person with cash. So um, here I went to purchase and sales, but it's not going to show up there. So I had to just go to my messages. I was messaging Lewis about making the purchase. Um, he did remove it from Offer up, so you can't really see the listing. But I do have a picture that I want to add. Um, that was just a little bit of our conversation that we had. He was really nice, and the car only had um, two owners before me, so. That was pretty cool. An old lady and then an even older lady. So, yeah. Um, I was pretty much in good hands. You just want to make sure that this person is somebody with at least four or five stars. Someone that people trust and things like that. And, you know, you'll be good. So, after finding the car, okay, the next step was to find insurance and y'all a car is a real responsibility like i feel like i have a whole nother entity to take care of like she always need a car wash gas she needs her windows tinted you know and i'm really glad and happy that i have family and friends who support me and care about me and um always just make sure that i'm straight that's why i have to make sure that they straight too all the time i had several um Different people just look out for me. You know, my uncle went down there with me to make sure that it was okay mechanically. My friend drove me down there not once, but two times. Mind y'all, this man stays 40 minutes away from me. So we had to go 40 minutes there, 40 minutes back to my house. And she stays even north to me. So she was driving for like an hour, maybe two hours just for Aisha purposes. So I was really grateful for that, you know, and she really looked out for me. Um, and my parents helped me with the purchase of it with the um, majority of the money. I only really had to put in about $600 and I'm, I just can't even believe that I have a car, y'all. Like I said, this is my fourth car. Not that I was messing them up or anything, but for some reason, my dad just kept on finding um, limits. Oh my God, look at my sister-in-law, she's just running. But for some reason, my dad just kept on finding limits and they wasn't good cars. And then with the Mercedes, I wasn't able to take it to Tallahassee. So I had to leave it home. And he ended up just falling in love with that car with him. So next thing I had to do after purchasing the car, I actually did this illegally. I rode home with no tag 40 minutes on the expressway going through tolls with no tag that was a gamble but nandy was driving behind me so i mean i was felt okay i was scared as hell i'm going like 60 miles an hour on this expressway with all these people going like 100 maybe 90 at the slowest they all going around us i'm just like i'm trying to go to speed limit i don't want the police to get behind us i don't you know no so we we did that or whatever. She took me over there. I end up making it home. I'm sorry for the shakiness. I don't have my ring right. I end up making it home or whatever. And 
I had to find and buy insurance. So everybody telling me, you know, it's gonna be expensive, it's gonna be expensive. I was gonna go with this company called Direct Auto, but the thing with them, um, they seem like a good deal when you click it in, click it in, clack, clack, clack. But once you call them, get on the phone, they start changing things up, and you you barely even qualify anymore. They want one hundred sixty dollars, and I'm like, okay, absolutely not, because yeah, a back page company anyway, and y'all not gonna charge me all this because they supposed to go five miles an hour. Anyways, y'all a back page company. Y'all not gonna charge me all this money to get this insurance when y'all probably not even gonna pay the people if I get in an accident. That is not gonna happen. So I end up getting Geico. I come across Geico. I get a quote. They're very nice, you know. Tell me what I need, what I don't need. Tell me the laws and whatever. And it was just a very smooth, easy selling process. I end up getting my insurance for um, $115. I got the regular base insurance and I think it does have a lot to do with me having good credit already so young because I did start um, my credit as soon as I turned 18. Once I turned 18, I'm like, okay, they always say black people, you know, they don't have no good credit. They always get us all this mess with their credit cards and stuff. And I'm like, I'm going to be different. I don't want that for myself. I want to be able to walk inside the car a lot and, you know, pick out whatever car I want because I have such good credit and put zero dollars down. So I started thinking about those type of things early and I did have a job early at 16 years old. So I do think my pr price of one to 15 did have a lot to do with me having good credit. So that's all I pay every month. Okay, boom. Got the insurance. After getting the insurance, and then I had to go ahead and get the title transfer and registration. That came up to 400, almost $500. On top of the 2,700. So if you're trying to do this by yourself, just keep up with the math here. So money for the car, then you need the insurance 115 to start 110 every month or maybe it's the other way around 110 to start 115 every month and then you turn around and need to get a registration inside so all together about four thousand dollars maybe now like i said i do have a lot of support and everything like that so in the whole journey i probably spent about seven eight hundred dollars it wasn't that much on my part um my parents and everything and some of my relatives they did come in handy and they did look out for me and i do appreciate them for that and when i get rich they gonna make this money with me so yeah um all of that and then turn around the next day i'm, I'm on this mission y'all and this is the thing you have to move on God's time. You know what I'm saying? Like you have to be, whenever you hear God telling you something, you have to do it. The next day, yeah, I know that little $10,000 thing. I wanted to find out more about it. I'm the type of person like, when I hear something, I'm gonna, I'm gonna believe what you say, but I wanna find out more about it. Like I wanna know what this is about. What am I getting into? What are the risks and everything like that? Because a lot of the time people will tell you like oh yeah you know they just give it out da, 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 da. and those people are probably misinformed too so i went to an actual tax person uh and i was trying to find out more about it i'm sitting in his parking lot and i just keep telling my friend I'm like you want to go get some food uh let me take you to see mobile so you could um get your phone bill stuff done oh i'm tired of waiting here i might as well just go and get my hair removal done i'm trying to come up with everything to leave because I am an impatient person. So, you know, she's like, no, let's just stay here. He coming, he coming, he coming. So we just wait. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Five minutes before the guy pull up. Boom. Somebody hit my car. Mind you, I'm parked. I look back, y'all. And I just press the accelerator by accident, y'all. And I start pressing on the horn. I'm like, shoot, I'm pressing the accelerator. My car not going away because of that part. But still, this man, I, he really hit my car one day after having insurance. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. And I just got out of the car and it looked like it was a big dent in it at first. I looked at him. I said, how much you going to give me? No, I'm not giving you no money. I'll take you to the body shop. 
No, I don't want to go with you. How much money you going to give me? No, man, you making a big deal out of this? I said, okay. You know what? I'm not even going to talk to you anymore. Let me call my mama. I'll call my mama. She told me to call my brother because my brother's a cop. He, you know, he going to tell me like the real deal and what it is, what it ain't. I'll call him and he's like, oh, don't leave nowhere with him. Tell him, give you money or you're going to call the cops. So I said, give me money. I'm a $200. I'm going to call the police. And he was like, no. So, okay, I get the police report done. The PSA come, really nice dude, really nice to me. He was like, oh, this is your first accident? I'm like, yeah, man, life just hit you so fast, whatever. He like, yeah, and it, this is only the beginning. Da -da -da. So, uh, fast forward, he get the car out, he get the guy out of the shop, because he, mind you, the guy just walked away. Like, he went inside the building, like, everything was okay. He walked inside, whatever. And then um, the PSA was talking to him, get his side of the story, got my side of the story, wrote it down and everything like that. And then um, he has his insurance or whatever. The guy gave me his insurance. I ended up calling his insurance. I had to tell my insurance to call his insurance. And then they was like, okay, we got to give you a quote. Luckily, when I got my quote, the quote is pretty fat, y'all. It's $400. So that really mean I only paid like $300 for my car because he just reimbursed me. But, yeah. So they gave me like $400 quote. I still have to take care of some more stuff with that. I'm not really sure how this whole process goes because like I said, I've never been in an accident. All this time I've been driving, I've been behind three other different, maybe four, five other different wheels. And I never got in a moving violation. So it's pretty much like a hit and run because I was pretty, I was parked. So I wasn't moving. It's not a moving violation. He got into a moving violation. So I'm parked this way inside the um the little thing. Y'all know the little yellow thing. I'm parked right in front of it. He parked sideways. He tried to back up and maneuver. Instead of hitting his sprint car, he decided to hit mine. And all the zoles, y'all, they was coming out of there. Like, no, don't call the police. Don't call the police. I'm calling them because he should have gave me money when I said it. But yeah, y'all, yeah. so it's like, it's a lot, you know, having a car is a big responsibility and every day I get in my car, like, I'm just so happy and not even saying that material things make me happy. It's just like, God really got this car for me. God really gave me this car when I asked for it, when I prayed for it, when I manifested it, when I had faith that he would give it to me. God really got me a car because the whole time I was walking in Tallahassee, y'all, uh, I was saying, Mm -mm. I'm not walking no more. After this, I am done walking. Y'all, I was tired. Y'all know how it is. I don't know if y'all know, but it's hard. So, yeah. I, I was just so amazed, and I still can't believe it. Like, I still can't believe I'm looking at my car right now. I can't. And I'm so glad I give all the glory to God. So, at the end of the day... Make sure you're praying. Make sure your money up. Have some people in your team who going to support you. Have some people on your side who going to support you. And you'll be straight in any situation. Not even a car, an uh, apartment, a house, whatever you need. God is there to guide you. God will put the people in your life to have them want to provide for you. And that's just that. On that. Period. But I really did wish I was able to show y'all the other clips because it's like, you know, it was more in debt. Like, you could see me going to the actual place. You could see me, like, looking to offer up. You see the message and everything like that. So, uh, whatever. Everything happens for a reason. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and coming to listen. Coming to listen to all these cars drive by because nobody was out here earlier. No, but thank you guys so much for coming to listen to me um, talk and vent about my car and my accident, how I got it, and everything it is, and everything is ain't. Oh, y'all, but let me, oh, hmm, maybe I should tell y'all. So, basically, everything worked in my car. Nothing was wrong with it. Even though it's a 2002, it's in perfect mint condition. It's almost like I got a brand new car, AC work, radio work. Um, It was painted fresh, new oil change, good tires, everything. So everything really did work in my favor. Like usually when you buy an old car like that, it's more to come with it. But it really was this big old majestic lizard. 
but it really wasn't nothing like that in my case so you know just be careful be vigilant thank you guys so much for coming and watching isha b's life because you know once i start i don't stop thank you guys so much for tuning in love y'all peace out